Good morning! I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. Um, let's see. I guess we're doing Zogre Flesh Eaters now. Man, I'm- I am blasting through these quests. I am- I'm so glad I found this thing. Just, it's just like, yeah, now I know what I'm doing, I know exactly what I'm doing next, and I don't have to worry about- I don't have to worry about, like, trying to be like, okay, what quest do I want to do now? Which one- which one do I want to get the reward for? Blah, blah, blah. Now I can just be like, yep, I'm going here, let's go do this right now. Um, I- I know exactly what my next quest is. It's great. It, it's really great. Um, I wonder what, uh, I wonder when I will get to a point where I, I don't have the requirements to meet some of the quests. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check that right now. Just be like, okay, so now I can go, can complete, forgettable, the for, okay, this is the first one. Actually, there's quite a few here. Um, okay, so that one's giant dwarf needed, and desert treasure needs to be started for that one. Where's desert treasure? Wait, what? Am I... Desert Slayer? Where the heck is Desert Treasure? Desert Treasure is a legendary quest, but the... The ch- the... Huh. That's weird. Oh well. Well, when we, uh, when we get to that point, we'll- we'll- I'll do that. That's strange that it's before in the timeline. I wonder if that's, like, an oversight or something? It looks like we're getting, like, right now to the point where there's quests. So who am I supposed to talk to here? Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, talk to the mysterious... No, Zogre Flush Eaters. Grish. Talk to Grish. Which one's Grish? Grig, Blug, Glug, Grish. There we go. Hey, Grish. Hello there. Uh, what's going on? Hey, you creature. Who's you? What's you doing here? You be clever to be running to the tickies from the Zogras don't dead ya. Um... What do you mean, sickies? The Zorgies coming with the sickies. You get bashed by the Zorgies and they get the sickies. Then gonna be like the Zorgies. Sorry, I don't understand. The sickies is when you creature goes orange till green, then goes err. Grish imitates fall- Grish imitates falling down with only the white of his eyes visible. Uh, can I help in any way? Yes, creatures. Use does good things for Grish and learn why Zorgis at Jigig and then get the Zorgis back into ground. Okay, you want me to find out why the Zogers have appeared and then find a way of burying them? Is that what Grish says? But this is big- biggie danger thing, use creatures. Use- be getting sickies most surely. You need to be ready with the foodies and the gluglugs. Right. So you think there's a good chance that I can get ill from this? So I need to drink some, f get some food and get something to drink. Yeah, creatures use what you say. Grish says, not you own wordies, creature. Okay, I'll check out things and report back. Is use creatures really, really sure as you want to do this, creatures? We're well, not no gluglugs or, or for the sickies. We've knows nothing for the going on of the sickies. Okay then, that hurt my brain to read. Yeah, I'm really sure. That's the good thing, use creature. Use does a grisha good thing, but use knows that good sickies maybe get dead. That's your idea of a pep talk. I have to say that it leaves a lot to be desired. Use creatures as always say funny stuff. Speaks proper like grish. Some food and two potions. Super restore. Oh, cool. Use. Your use goes get creatures, the best me's for you, and be back without the sickies. Okay, great. Oh, cooked chompy. Oh, cool. Um, use needs stay away from this place. Use get the sickies, and maybe use goes dead if you're unlucky thing. But Grish has asked me to look into this place and find out why the undead ogres are here. Okay, that is the big, big scary danger thing. You sure as you was once to go in? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I opens the stopper for you, creatures. <laughs> okay, there you goes. Well, this one is trying to attack me already. At least I think it is. Yep. 
So I have to go all the way into here. I have to not get the zombie virus. Uh... Alright, climb down the stairs. They are doing no damage to me. Ooh, okay. Um... Great. So, what am I doing here? I- I'm- I've done this quest before. But I don't remember- oh, there's more down. Uh, I don't remember what you do, and it may have been changed. Don't seem to be able to open them. Okay. It may have been changed since the last time I- or since the last time I did this, so... I don't remember this dungeon being here. But I guess it probably was. Okay. Maybe I just need to search some of the coffins or something? I'm not sure. Uh, let me check the map here. Uh, okay, there's not a lot going on here. The lid of the coffin feels very solid, it won't budge. However, you can see a very crude lock mechanism. Maybe a key will open it. Uh, alright, let's try, let's try some of this. Coffin feels very solid, a key- maybe a key will open it. Alright, so maybe I have to kill some of the- the Zogers to get a key? I need to find out what happened here. Alright, well, I might as well kill some of these and see what happens. Alright, I am quite a bit more powerful than these, so I- I'm not super scared of dying. Uh... Let's see. Coffin key. Alright, there we go. So let's use this- Oh, I got Zogar Bones, too. Can I bury these? I can. Oh, they'll give me a lot of experience. Alright, so now I have the Coffin Key. Oh, do I have to just keep- keep doing this until I find the right thing? Alright. Okay, well, you're dead. Okay, I'm assuming the- the Zogars are the only ones that are gonna give me the Coffin Keys. Nope, I got it from this too. Oh, the those are also considered zogers, I guess. Antres ancestral fair bones and damaged armor. I can I can get rid of that. That's junk. Uh, examine ancient bones from the ogre burial tomb. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. Okay, I'm gonna just kill a bunch of these and get a bunch of keys, and then see what happens. I can pick the locks, too, but I guess if I have the key, it gives me... It gives me better... I, or I, I have less chance of getting poisoned, I guess? Am I supposed to be looking for a specific thing in here? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these on my hotbar there, so I can just use them when I get them. Alright, I'm just gonna get a bunch of keys and see if I can just go through and unlock some of these. Maybe... Maybe these also work on the door? Or am I supposed to be looking for a specific... Um... Am I supposed to be looking for a specific coffin? That might be the case. I'm gonna try using these on the door. And then, uh... We'll see after that. Let me just get a, a handful of them first. You get a lot of- you can get a lot of it prayer experience here, which is fantastic. Alright, let me dismantle that real quick. Okay. And... you're dead. Alright. Stop. Alright. Okay, I, I'm gonna get one more, so I got five, and then I'm gonna try going down the- or try to open these locks with this thing. And then if not, I'm gonna search each of the coffins. Maybe I need to get a specific key from those. Those are the only- those are the only ideas I have right now. Okay, let me take these. Alright, I'm gonna use the- use the key on the- the stone door. Let's see if that works. Gates are locked. Use the key. Nope. 
Okay. So I guess I probably have to... Oh, there's a pile of bones over here? A pile, pile of skulls. Alright, let's try opening these coffins one at a time. Ancestral bones and some money. Cool. How much money did I get? Ancestral bones. Some money. Um... Zogre bones. Oh! Oh, a steel hatchet. I don't need that. Alright. Oh, I don't have any more... don't have any more keys. Maybe I have to take these and use them on the keys outside? Or maybe on the, on the coffins outside? Let's try that. Let me bury these two. 140, wow. That's really good. I think I should uh, come here to train my prayer in my in, in my downtime. I mean, not that I have a lot of downtime left in this uh, recording set here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really found anything other than the keys to open the doors, so... I'll, I'll grab another five of these and then head over to... Head, head upstairs, or outside, and maybe unlock the... the ones out there. I also like the idea that, uh, the... I like the idea that the, uh, those guys... When I attack the skeleton, it makes a different noise. Alright. And... Okay. I need two more. And then I'll go up and figure out. Unless I am supposed to come down here and just, like, search each of these. Alright, one more. You get over here. And then I'll- and then I will go up and search those. How much are these keys worth? Oh, two grand? That's not even a lot. Okay. Cool. And you're d dead. There you go. Okay, cool. We got it. Let's let's use these five keys and try to get up out of here. Um. Yeah. So we found a door. Uh. Let's see. We found a door, but we can't go down further than that. So I'm gonna try these coffins. A clue scroll. That's not what I was expecting out of that. Okay. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna kill all of these guys. Oh, that works out for me. Look at that. Doing some extra damage. Uh, the clue scroll isn't exactly what I was looking for here. Alright. And then I'll open this one here, and then I'm gonna go open... Oh, I get uh, keys from these ones up here, too. That's nice. So, how do I... How do I get rid of those guys with the... Hmm. Examine... It looks like he's decomposing. Ah! That's... that's funny. Alright. Let's get all those, and we'll open this one. Some standard bones. Hmm. Examine drums. Ogres bang these to make noise. Okay. I didn't find anything in there. Uh, let's see. There's some coffins out here, too. So I'm gonna try to do... Try to do that. There's... Okay, there's three out here. Ancestral bones. That's not super helpful. Standard bones, and... Oh, okay. Well, and a hatchet. Alright, that's not, uh... It's not super helpful. Alright, let's go talk to... Grish. You as creature done the thing yet? The Zorgis going into dirt full home? Nope, I haven't figured out why the Zogers are here yet. Okay, that's not super helpful. 
Um, maybe I do need to find a specific thing in there. All right, let's go back down there. Climb downstairs. All right, maybe I maybe I do have to find a specific. All right, let's get this coffin here. Standard bones. And nope. Okay, great. All right, let's check. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, here we go. You entered this black and charred area. It looks like some sort of explosion took place here. Explosion has taken place. Okay. Okay, I was just in the wrong spot. Well... Oh, bronze nails. I'll take those. Alright. An explosion took place here. Search broken lectern. Find a torn page with spidery writing all over it. Search the skeleton. Oh. Uh, ruined backpack. Alright. Open. Just before you open the backpack, you notice a small leather patch with the moniker B. Vaughn on it. You find an interesting looking tankard. You find a knife and some rotten food, and the backpack is ripped to shreds. Uh, read torn page. You don't manage to understand all of it, but there is only a half page here. It seems the spell was used to place a curse on the area for all time. Raise the dead. If you look carefully, you can see it looks like a what looks like a gold emblem. Dragon in tankard. The stout ceramic tankard with dragon in em dragon. Em okay, well, I'm gonna have to read that again after I kill this guy. Okay, so I just went to the wrong places in the in here. Uh, the knife and the rotten food doesn't seem to be something I particularly need. All right, give me these. Let me re let me look at this thing. Ye old dragon inn are inscribed at the bottom. Oh, okay, well I guess that wasn't super helpful. Um, I got a little bit more information though. Let's uh, let's head back out of here. I am taking quite a bit of damage now that I'm now that I was actually not fighting these things. All right. And then, I could just sit in here and, like, farm a ton of these guys and then just f get tons and tons of keys. Alright, I'm just gonna eat these. Because I apparently don't need... Well, I, I do need them. Um, kind of. But I haven't gotten poisoned yet, so there's that. Alright. And... Okay. Well, that wasn't what I expected to find in there. Alright, talk to Grish. What you got for me, Grish? I, I mean, I've got information for you. Uh... Nope, I haven't figured out why the Zogres are here yet. Okay, let me go to the... The Dragon Inn? Ye old Dragon Inn. Where was the Dragon Inn? Um... Let's see. There's a couple of... There's the inn here, but that's not... I think that's the... This one's the Blue Moon Inn. Is it this one up here? Which inn is this? Uh... Infernal Dig Site. Arche oh, cool. Um... Is there also an inn in Yanel? Let me check that. I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's one in Yanel or not. Yan Yanil. I said that the weirdest way. Alright, so let's go check this. So I've made some kind of progress. I think I can get rid of the rotten food. Yeah, let's dismantle that. I might need the knife for something, so... I'll keep that just in case. Also, I'm gonna use that on this to fill that up and better. There we go. Um... Oh, that's right! It is the dragon one here. Build hidey hole? Wait, what? There's a hidey hole in here somewhere? 
Oh, build a hidey hole in the wall. Guard, captain, bartender. Let's talk to the bartender. What can I get you? What's on the menu? Dragon bitter and Grimm's ale and some cheap beer. Uh, nope. Let's go up here. Um... Maybe I need to crack open the safe? 83 thieving. Well, that's not it. Um, uh, do I just need to talk to this guy here? Excuse me. I don't need a hand drinking. Go away. But... I talked to hand because the face ain't listening. Alright, let's use this on the bartender. You show the tanker to the innkeeper. Hello there. I found this tankard in an ogre tomb cavern. It has an emblem of this inn on it, and I wondered if you knew anything about it. Oh yes, this is Brentel's mug. I'm surprised he left it out lying around in some cave. He's quite protective of it. Brentel, you say? So, you knew him then? Yeah, it belongs to Brentel Vaughn. B. Vaughn. Quite a common customer, though I've not seen him in a while. He was talking to some shifty-looking wizard the other day. I don't know his name, but I'd recognize him if I saw him. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Brentel Vaughn is dead. I believe he was murdered. No, I'm shocked, but not surprised. He was a good customer, but knew he would sell his sword arm to many a dark deed if paid enough. If you need help bringing the culprit to justice, let me know. Uh, use the torn page on the bartender? You show the tor torn page. You any clue what this might be? Oh, don't shoot me that sort of stuff. It's probably all magical wizardy. Probably turn me into a frog as soon as I look at it. Alright, so let's go talk to maybe the wizards at the... The, the tower over here? Maybe they know some information about it. Um, that might get me some, give me some knowledge. Oh, the crop circle's back. I'm probably not going to do that crop circle in this recording set. I'll probably do that next time. This time is all focused on... Oh, the fountain actually made noise when I ran past it. Never noticed that before. Um... Yeah, I'm probably going to do all the- okay, so use torn page on the Watchtower Wizard. No? Hmm. Well, that does- that wasn't helping. Huh, okay. Let's see. So, he said he would know him if he saw him. But that doesn't quite help me, does it? Examine the tankard. White ceramic mug, examine the note. Half a, necrom a necromantic page. Hmm. Uh, there are the... Uh, the necro there is a necromancer, but I don't know if... Maybe the necromancer... Uh, maybe I need to use this on this guy? Nothing interesting happens. Use the torn page on the captain. Nope, guess not. Okay. What can I get you? What's on the- okay, no. Use... Can I use this on him again? Can you tell me about this tankard again, please? Not seen him in a while. I'd recognize him if I saw him. Um, how do I get... Uh, let's see. Let's go talk to the necromancer. That's the only- the only lead I've got now. Would be... The necromancer... That's... Near Port Sarum. Let's go check that out. Maybe, maybe I'll get some information out of that guy. Because he's a necromancer. He's the only necromancer that I can think of off the top of my head. There's probably more, but it's the only one I, the only one I can think of. He's like right over here. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, I think I see them on the map. Okay, Earth Wizard. Water Wizard. Malignus Mortifer. That's- I think that's the Necromancer. Uh, use the torn page on Malignus Mortifer? Oi! Stop waving your items at me! So, Polarized Moon, your curiosity leads you to speak to me. Um... Where can I get clothes like those? Bah! Our garments are an outward sign of our dominance of the magical arts. You not, cannot simply buy them in a shop. What happens if I kill you and take them? Try it and see. How about you teach me enough about magic so I can wear those clothes too? How about I turn you into a mushroom and make you f stop bothering me? Uh, well, 
I have a mushroom now. Great. Can I, I, I do turn back after a while, don't I? Yeah, there we go. Okay, what else, what else we got? Um... Can you teach me something about magic? I see no glimmer of understanding in your eyes. My time would be wasted trying to teach you the subtle arts. If you're truly interested in magic, you should go and speak to the Duke of Lumberge. Perhaps he will have a mission for that will teach you something. No. Okay, use the- can I use the torn page on him again? Stop waving your items at me. Use the dragon in tankard on him? Oh, does that... Use knife. Okay, do, wait, do, do all of these guys do that? Nothing interesting happens. Nah, I, I feel like- I feel like this must be... Uh... Where can I get clothes like those? Not simply buy them in a shop. Um, okay. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm the great Malignus Mortifer, wielder of strange and terrible powers. All these lowly followers of mine are dedicated students to the magical arts. Their business is to follow me and learn all they can. You don't look very- t they don't look very tough. You may believe that, but even if you strike one down, another will rise up within minutes. Yeah, right. Each of my followers is a master of his chosen element. His life becomes bound to that element in a way you could not hope to understand. And what do you do? I am a mastering of a branch of magic that few dare to attempt. Necromancy, the fools in the wizard's guild shut anyone who practices this art. But there are a few across the lands who know of the rudiments. Grayzag and Inv Invrigar, even Melzer studied the methods of necromancy until an ancient, uh, the ancient afflicted his mind. Now his spells tend to result in... Well, let us say he does not raise armies of dead minions. Um... Is this like summoning? Can you teach me? The obscure magical art of necromancy has nothing to do with summoning. Through necromancy I may resurrect the bodies of those who have fallen, and bend them to my will, and even command them to tell me hidden knowledge. I shall not pass my secrets lightly to a passerby. Even a mighty hero like me? Sir Dominus fool, you will get no secrets from me. Oh, is it because I'm wearing the Sarah Domin's Whisper? Let's try this again. Curiosity. Uh, what are you doing here? Let's learn all they can. Don't look very tough. Rise up within minutes. What do you do? Necromancy. Result in undead minions. Is it like summoning? Can you teach me? The obscure magical art of necromancy. Blah blah blah. Through necromancy, command shall pass my to passerby, even a mighty hero like me. There are ways which you may summon creatures to your side, but my own work is of a different sort. Oh, he. Well, it was a different. Okay. Uh, why do you keep making fungi appear? Necromancy is still not fully understood, so few people dare study it. Though my spells usually raise whichever undead creature I desire, they sometimes misfire, as Melzar has learned. What happened to Melzar? The forces required to wield power over the dead are very difficult to control. Melzar's concentration slipped and his spell rebounded upon him. Although he did not die, his mind broke. Now he dwells amidst the beasts that fill his strange home. When he attempts to do magic, he gets amusing results. Okay. Um... I am sure your curiosity will eventually draw you to speak to me again, Polarized Moon. G great Uh... Okay, I'm gonna do that one again and, and maybe do a different, um... Wait, do I- do I have to get a black- black wizard's outfit? Maybe I need to get black wizard's robes. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? I'm- I feel like I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't want to, but here we are. Uh... Zogar Flesh Eaters. Let's see. Venture into the crypts of Gutanath. Uh... Ground Zero... Oh, ads. Uh... Super Restore for Potions. Uh, talk to the Ogre Guard by the Barricades. Proceed to the, uh, Skeleton. Search the Broken... Go to the Dragon Inn. 
wizard was usually seen with a shady wizard. The wizard guild. Or ring the front bell. Oh, oh, it was all, it was all in the. Okay, well, I went to the. I guess I went to the wrong. I guess I went to the wrong wizard. I can put my Sarah Doman's whisper back on. I really need to sneeze, and it's not coming. <laughs> ah. Okay, so. So the other one that he was talking about must be at the uh, at the wizard's guild. Can I go in the wizard's guild? Was it? Uh, what level do you need to be in to get in there? I don't even know if I can or not. Um, I don't know if it's like 70 or 6, 6 75, 65. What was it? I actually had that pulled up. 66. Oh, I can do that. I didn't know I could go in there. Okay. Wizard, Wizard Dissentor. Professor Imbl... Imbluin. This is on the third floor. Robe store owner. Um. There's no one here on the third floor. Zavistic Rarv? Was that who I was supposed to talk to? Uh. Oh, this first floor. Okay, the first floor. Yeah, this is Britain, so this is the first floor. What are you doing bothering me? Do you think you have some of us to have work to do? I thought you were here to help. Well, I am suppose... I, I am, I suppose. Anyway, we're very busy here. Hurry up, what do you want? Uh, What do you do in the... No, hold on. Can I... Can I use the torn page on him? I think I found a clue from the Jigig area where the undead ogre activity is happening. You show the necromantic half-page of the aged wizard. Hmm. This is a half, half torn spell page. It requires another spell component to be effective. Did you find anything else there? Not really. I don't know what to say then. Really, there isn't enough to go on here. I'd suggest going back and search a bit more. You may be wasting your time. Oh, did I not find all the stuff that I was supposed to? Um. For raising the dead for all time. Keep the page. Need it later on. Skeleton fit unlocked using a knife. Search the coffin the skeleton is facing. Oh! Of course. Of course. I'm just doing all the wrong things. So I was supposed to check a specific coffin. Um... I wonder, can I just unlock that coffin, or do I have to use the knife? It says that I have to use the knife. I did, I did... I guess I knew that I needed to keep the knife. Good thing I didn't get rid of it. Alright, so let's try this again. Gonna do all the things. Oh, there's Castle Wars. Uh, that, that's a fun mini game. I I think at one point I may uh, I'll, I'll probably do that mini game. I mean I'm gonna have to eventually because there are lots of uh, there's like achievements for doing all sorts of that kind of stuff. So eventually I will have to fight them. Uh, okay, cool. Here we go. Climb downstairs, and then go back and try to get to that thing, and maybe there's another torn page in there. Alright, where was it? It was this corner over here? Ah. Now my nose is runny. I really need to sneeze, and it's not, it's not happening. Search ogre coffin. Oh, because I can't open this one like the rest of them. You search the coffin and find a geometrically shaped hole in the side. It looks like the hole was made for. Okay, great, thanks. I'm trying to I'm trying to do a thing here. All right, let me just kill you, and then we'll get this over with. Geometrically shaped hole. All right, cool. You dead now? Give me your everything's. All right, search the coffin. Uh, the hole was made with a considerable amount of force. Maybe the thing which made the hole is still inside. The lock was quite crude. With some skill and a slender blade, you might be able to force it. Force the lock with a knife. Oh, for my tool belt. With some skill, you manage to slide the blade along the lock edge and click it to place the teeth of the primitive mechanism. The lid looks heavy, but now you've unlocked, you may be able to lift it. You prepare yourself. 
You struggle, yet you weaken from your experience. Perhaps you should try again you've recovered from the effort. Okay. Uh, I can't get rid of this knife because it allowed me to use the one from the tool belt. Find some standard Zogar bones. Alright, my <laughs> strength stat is reduced for two minutes. Great. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have. Oh, that's what the restore potions are for. Okay. And it restores by 8 and 25% of total level. Oh, what? Where did you come from? Okay, I guess I'm killing two of them now. I can also dismantle this. Creature rises from the ga grave again. Oh! Okay, so some of them, when you kill them, they come back immediately. Got it. Okay. So, let me restore my points. Lift it, prepare yourself. Yes, I did it. You eventually managed to lift the lid. You find a creepy looking black prism inside. Alright. Maybe that's what I need to get. Uh, here, let me get into the corner somewhere, and then I can, uh, I can tell- well, I guess I'm gonna have to kill one of these guys. Alright, maybe I should use up these keys while I'm at it too. Alright, let's do that. I'm doing good, I guess. Oh, and it came back. Examine black prism. A very black prism. Very, very great. Okay. Ah. Sniffles. I've got the sniffles for some reason. Okay. Got these. Let's just open these up. Soaker bones. The key crumbles in the lock. Soaker bones. And some more nails. Some black nails? I didn't even know that was a thing. Alright, let's teleport to Yanel real quick. Don't... Do oh, okay, great. Th thanks for that. I... Oh, man. It is cool, though, that some of them come back again after you kill it. I kind of I kind of like that idea. Okay, let's... Use this again, and then we'll teleport out of here. <laughs> it's a leather body. Okay. Yanel teleport. I can, uh, I can dismantle that too. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll actually have the rest of this quest down now. I've got all the people I need to talk to, hopefully. Let's do that. Uh, dismantle this, because I don't need it. And then... Bury all these. Alright. And then we'll go talk to this dude in the tower again. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode, so... Uh, let's go talk to this guy, bring him this prism. And then... We'll see what else there is to find. Alright. Up to the first floor. Use the... Look at the prism. I haven't done that yet. It looks like a smoky black gem of some sort. Very creepy. Some magical force must have prevented it from being shattered when it hit the coffin. Interesting. Uh, nope. I need to use the black prism on this guy. I found this black prism at Jigig where the undead ogre activity was happening. Hmm. Well, this is an uncommon spell component. It, on its, it's useless on its own, but with certain necromantic spells it can be very powerful. Seems you have some magical protection. Once you've finished with this item, Bring it back to me, and I may have a reward for you. Sure, I mean, I travel if I remember. Wait, does that, um... Did you find anything else there? Not really wasting my time. Am I am I still missing stuff? Okay, well, either way, that's about the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good night. And I guess I'm going to have to do some more searching tomorrow. Bye-bye!